Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Nigma, and I'm bringing you guys a completely ordinary, boring, not interesting match. <laughs> um, I was gonna do like a martyr guide soon, and um, I got some other stuff lined up, but um, I really don't feel like doing that right now. I just feel like playing a normal ass normal game. But um, I figured I'm just gonna try and recording a game just randomly and um, see if people like it. Uh, if not, um, just don't bother. Just skip this one. Um, yeah. As you can tell, I'm listening to music. Uh, I'm probably not going to be doing, like, super, super commentary. So I'm not going to be, like, talking the whole time like I am with my other videos. But uh, I figure I would just sort of speak my mind as I'm playing. Maybe you'll learn something. Maybe you won't. Um... Uh, as you know, or as you may know, I'm not like a super competitive Han player. I am like 1850 at heart. Yeah, it was 1850 before the MR compression. Haven't made it all the way back up there yet, actually. Um, as you can see here by my MMR, I am not even 1600 on Nigma. Although the, the account that was 1850 was not this account. Uh, I reset this account at the uh, time of MMR compression just for fun. So I figured, why not? So this is going to be like a 1500, 1600 game, probably. Not very um, amazing. Probably not going to see any big plays. But uh, I figured, what the hell, right? And um, first thing I just realized is that I'm playing all pick, when in fact I usually don't play all pick for good reason, because it's usually like a bunch of derpy... Um, derpiness. So I really don't know what I'm going to pick here. Um, I really have no prospect. Um, I'm playing a lot of uh, Artesia, but uh, I've also been playing a lot of Martyr lately. I think my most played is uh, Martyr, 28%. So uh, I don't know. What do I feel like playing? I wish I wish I was live streaming this. I can't live stream. My internet is too crappy. This is of course why I'm doing this. Because uh, if I had good enough internet, I'd just be live streaming this, and that would be that. But. Uh, Unfortunately, I can't do that. I guess I'll just play Artasia, because why the fuck not? <sighs> um, might make this a little bit more interesting, since I guess not everybody has, uh, you know, Artasia. As she is an early access hero, um, I wrote a little article on Artasia a few days ago. Um, basically, I think she's pretty underpowered. Obviously, it's too early, really, to call. And um, even though I started my article out saying that it's too early to tell and my opinion is not very, you know, it's not very grounded and nobody should take this article too seriously, there's like already some guy who's like writing like, how could you write an article about the hero being underpowered already? Like, it's too early. It's like, yeah, I know. That's why I said that it's too fucking early. That's why I say stuff like that. Um, I don't go mid as Artasia. I know in the uh, the patch review I said Artasia would probably make a good mid. It's one of many things I was sort of wrong about. Uh, I don't really... I don't know. It hasn't worked out for me going mid, really. And another thing that hasn't really worked out for me is playing Artasia as like a straight ganker. Like something like Chipper. It hasn't really worked out. Um, I'm not really sure why. This is like sort of lack of damage, and it feels like I need to have a lot of points into my skills. So you know, Artesia is very strong in the lane. She's definitely uh, pretty strong in the lane, but like playing full-on ganker, maybe not as effective as I would have hoped. Um, So I've been sort of playing Artesia more of like a mid-game carry a little bit. I still haven't perfected an item build. I've asked around. Uh, one of my friends is pretty good at Han. I used to work at S or still works at S2. His name I will not say, I guess. Um, said that he likes to get Mana Ring early. And then I th think Helm of the Black Legion. I think that's what he said. I don't know about that. Um... I guess this guy is going to ward the pull after it spawns. I don't know why he would want to do that. Maybe he'll make it in time, but I don't... Oh, I guess he will. 
By the way, if you put this ward right here, it blocks this camp. It's hilarious. Not a lot of people in lower level tier know that. So, uh... Hopefully I don't, like, completely suck this game. I'm not perfect. Please don't make fun of me. But I will do my best. So, if you're laning Artesia, what I usually like to do... Demented Shaman's fine. If you, if you want, you can get, like, a pure range babysitter support. But, um, I prefer to have, like, a melee initiator hero, like Magmus or Behemoth or Hammerstorm. Because, uh, you can really, really helps to be able to set up your, uh, arcane missile. <laughs> Getting some slight fraps lag. My computer is usually a bit better than this, but, uh, with recording fraps it does a little bit slug down. So I'm not really going to be casting any spells until level 3. It's not really worth it. You can do some uh, very nice... I can't select this fucking creep, it's behind the tower. Um, do some very nice harassment once you hit level 3, in my opinion. It's one thing that this hero really does well, is this very strong harass. But you can't always do it, you gotta kinda commit to it, because... Okay, I'm gonna shoot her now. Is taking damage. Oh, that heal bomb. Uh, what a dick. Yeah, that's why I would have waited for level 3, because, um... That... It's just not enough damage coming out yet. I mean, that heal bomb was great, but, uh... It's just not enough. This guy wants me to share my hero with him. I'm not gonna do that. I'm bad at last hitting today. Of course, uh, if you don't know my my projectile, as I've explained in my other video, it like curves around and hits stuff, but it will hit creeps, so it's pretty easy to hit people with. But the thing is, if you really want to maximize the damage, you want to be near the enemy. You can't just like fling it like a chipper rocket, because sure it'll land and deal damage, but your other ability, your E ability, it doesn't proc unless you're close. So it really becomes like worth casting when you're near. See in this situation she might run behind creeps to dodge it. So she's probably get boots now. This hero... I don't know. My friend says you don't even need boots until a lot later, but uh... I sort of disagree. Because like you're gonna be chasing people. I mean your 15% slow is not all that in a bag of chips. Now I'm gonna start being a dick. We do have some range. Unfortunately not 600. I mean his harassing power is definitely solid, but uh... So about everything else that sort of bogs him down for me. Is not gonna be here right now. What the fuck is my hero doing? <laughs> my hero just like derped out. So we've got a jungle damp here. We'll probably kill damp here alone, but um, need some mana for that. Maybe I'll try my friend's build out and get Arcane Ring. That's what I did at the very first when I started playing this hero, but then I stopped. Um, it's a pretty good item on him, not gonna lie. But like, he's got no survivability and so it's just sort of problematic. I think Dishaam is trying to go for him, I don't know why he's going without me. 
it's not gonna get him. Especially not with the Defiler here for some reason. Nah, I'm just going back. Like I said, this is very level dependent, so I don't like trying to... I'll try and kill people within the lane, but uh... I'm not really gonna go out of my way and hunt people down. Of course, unless they're junglers in your lane, then you kinda need to put some pressure on, but... We got mid anyway. Silhouette. Oh, yes. I don't need to worry about ganks. Let's uh, get ramp here. Oh, I thought he was gonna. I hope he comes back. Actually, oh, bitch is getting fucked up. Oh, that bitch is lucky. I have no mana. Yeah, like people. I mean, Artasia is definitely fragile, so you gotta be careful. But uh, she drops some fucking crazy DPS early. So I mean, your Q ability is so spammable. Okay, this guy's dropping some fun heal bombs. So I think I'm just gonna actually get Arcane Ring this game. This guy for real? What the fuck? Fuckers the courier. Are you serious, dude? Who parks the courier fucking right there? <laughs> fucking people. Of course, the hilarious thing about my ult is that it is global, so something I underestimated about this here is the global ult, because it's really very reliable for picking people off far away. It's very nice when they're fighting a, a, a teammate that would otherwise be killed, but then you sort of add the extra DPS, and they're sort of like unsure if they should commit or run, and they usually commit and they die. Um, of course, S2 patched um, the ult. So it now gives mana and health regen, which is very nice. That's what it should have done in the beginning, but it didn't. It's down level 7. Uh, I'm not getting Dance to Death yet. I don't know. It might not be the optimal skill build, but I really like the damage from E. So I, may, I am getting a Dance of Death next. But I like to get two ranks of this first. I don't know. People always tell me I should max stuff before I start you know, throwing shit all over the place, but uh, I don't know, I'm spastic like that. So you want to keep an eye out for people who are like low, so every time an ally dies, throw a tab on over. Ideally I'd have a TP and I'd actually TP over and help and shit, but what are you gonna do, right? So I kind of want to know what this Dampier is doing. Or I tell, uh, what's his face to come? Where's Dan? He's level 5? That's pretty low. Well, maybe Defy will be dumb enough to push up here? I doubt it. Very doubtful. Yeah, well. I'm kind of waiting for somebody to, like, mess up and try and kill us. I also wish bot would do something because my ult is up and ready. Of course my ult is much more effective once I have Dance of Death. Ah, Dan Pierce there. I was expecting some follow-up from Dampier there, I don't know what the fuck was up with that. <laughs> now we can get Dan. Your building is taking damage. The Hellborn takes down a Legion Tower. Boring. Why is our playlog level four? 
Oh boy, 1500 games. By the way, this guy has the most annoying voice ever. I really should start picking, uh... The female version. I like the model of this one better, but, uh... As for the lines and shit... I'm pretty happy this game is, uh, going well. It's already weird I was gonna embarrass myself on the first attempt. You know, it's really not easy to win a 1500 game by yourself. It's gotten very hard recently. I don't know why. But, um, I'm slowly and steadily. Probably gonna hit like 1600 like this game, but it's not easy by yourself. I mean, that's the thing is, I don't go like mid heroes and like, you know, semi carry my way. I just kind of pick whatever I want to pick, and that's usually why I don't win every game. I guess that's what I tell myself. Of course, don't use your ult to KS. Use it to save people. Um, oh, this could be cute. Oh, well. That ult. So my hair is not that good at pushing, but... Uh, Oh no, I don't kill that. Oh, fuck that. Uh, I was about to say, that should have hit something, but uh, I guess they're gonna cancel this TP. So, as for what I'm gonna get next, I really don't know. Pretty good on mana regen. Usually, I'd probably have to get something like Hamel the Black Legion or something, but uh, it doesn't really seem like it. See, what do they have? Dampier? Okay, they have a lot of magic. I should definitely get Vestments. Holy shit. So I think I'm just gonna pick up Vestments right here. Hmm. I should probably get a Grave Locket. Yep, they're pushing. Did you say you cannot rush beauty? guys are pushing or just like three man farming 13 minute tri laning it's fun to like lob uh, arcane misses with people because they like don't miss <laughs> if you have enough mana that is Except that last one missed. Oh, nice try. That was actually a very nice um, attempt by her. Unfortunately, it didn't actually hit me, but I like that. Utilizing. Uh... Although, to be honest, it probably would have been better just to get a. Uh, a long range grapple off rather than like decisions, decisions. whatever I am high as fuck see it was not that complicated to play against though it's basically like I do a shit ton of damage but I die in one hit so it is a lot like fighting a chipper I have no escape uh, no stun it's really just like burst me down before I burst you down. 
It's kind of hard to gank me though, because I'm always on the offensive. So I don't know where I'm going, to be honest. I guess I will go top, just because there's so many people here. My ult's about to be up. Oh, I hope they commit to this. Are they, are they gonna commit to this? Oh, yes, they are. Oh, come on. Fuck. Oh, these guys just don't know when. Oh, fuck that flick. I swear to god, I did not play like 8 games and then play this game. This is really the first game I played. Um, I realize it's not impressive to completely steamroll a 1500 pub. So it's really not what I'm trying to do with these games. I really just felt like playing a game. But it uh, looks like we are going to end up winning. Um, yeah. Well, I guess that's that. Um... I can't promise that every game I do will be like this because obviously even I can have problems in 1500 play uh, games from time to time. It's not like, yeah, I'm going to win every time. If I was playing with maybe one other person who's pretty good, then then yeah, we should probably win. But uh, alone, it's really not that, especially if you're not going mid, like I said. So yeah, I guess that's going to be that. Um, if you guys like this, then uh, let me know. Um, vote yes, vote up, <laughs> vote like, and then uh, comment. Otherwise, uh, don't worry, I'm still going to be doing guides and, you know, all that good stuff. But uh, this is just nice to do because, you know, obviously writing a guide takes preparation and whatnot, and this sort of doesn't. So it's a way for me to make videos, even if I'm not really going to be, you know, preparing everything. So anyways, that's that. Thanks for watching.